Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. Just give me one second, I'm a little distracted, I'm looking for something. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately, you're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 118. Day 118, or to be more precise, day 3118. 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 118, we are on the topic of combinations versus permutations. And today is our eighth video in the series of 10. If you want to watch the first five, first five video on the series of permutation versus combination is something that you will find on day number 96 to 100, day 3096 to 100. Today we'll do problem number nine. Problem number nine that appears under the data analysis exercises on page number 321. 321. Turn to page number 321. Open your book. Turn to page number 321 and read the problem yourself. So here's what we have. It says, from a box of 10 light bulbs, from a box of 10 bulbs, we have to remove four. How many different sets of four bulbs can be removed? Can you remove? So just to make our life easier, just to make you understand whether it's permutation or combinations, let's, let's give this, let's, let's give this, this, there's a box here, the, there are five bulbs sitting here, A, B, C, D, and E if you like, F, G, H, I, and J. They're, they're sitting in a box like this. They're sitting in, sitting in a box like this. How many different ways, how many different ways can we fix, fix the first, first bulb? Obviously ten ways because there are ten bulbs there. After we pick the first bulb, how many different ways can we pick the second bulb? There are nine ways. But the question is, which, which, which one are we dealing with here? Which concept are we dealing with? Are we dealing with permutation or combination? Permutation is where order matters, as we know. Here, order matters. Do these, do these bulbs have any significance? Does it matter whether I pick bulb A first and then bulb B? or whether I pick bulb B first and then bulb A, does it matter? Of course not. These are identical bulbs. It really doesn't matter which bulb I pick first. I just, I'm just going to pick four bulbs. It doesn't matter which one I pick. The order is of no significance here. The order is of no significance. This problem deals with combinations, not permutation. This is a combination problem. So what happens once you pick A, once you pick A and then B, can we count again B and then A as another possibility? The answer is no we'll begin to repeat ourselves. We'll begin to repeat ourselves. And to undo the repeating, to undo the double counting, we, do, we need to take half of this quantity. So we're done with, pick, that's it, that's how we take care of it, because everything is double counted. A, B, B, A, C, D, D, C, E, F, F, E. You get the idea. Everything is gonna be double, every single, every single combination is gonna be double counted. To undo the double counting, as soon as we start picking the second one, we begin to double count. To undo the double counting, we take half as many. Now let's pick the third one. After having picked the first two bulbs, how many different ways can we pick the third bulb? Obviously there are only eight left, so there are eight ways. But what happens, what happens when we pick the third bulb? Well, we have already chosen two bulbs. We have already chosen two bulbs. Now we're gonna pick third one. Let's keep it simple. Let's, for the time being, let's pretend that there are only four, just, to, just, so, just so we can keep it simple. Just to keep it simple. Well, how many, how many different ways can we pick a pair? A, B, let's list them here, A, very quickly, A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C. Notice we did not do, we did not do B, A, because B, A and A, B is the same thing. We're not going to double count them. B, C, B, D, and then finally C, D. Okay, watch what happens. Watch what happens. So a pair has been picked among the four. Forget about this ten bulb right now. We're no longer talking about ten of them. We're talking about four people here. Four people are among those four people. We are choosing three. This problem is a different problem. I started doing something else entirely. There are four people here. Among those three, four people, we're going to pick three people to do a job, any job, where order doesn't matter. We're just going to pick three people to be on a jury or to 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 move to move a couch uh, or to work on a project. So it doesn't matter which person comes in the room first to move the couch or which jury you pick. Uh, uh, there are four, four people in the room, we're going to pick three of them for the, to be on the jury. 
the order doesn't matter which one we pick first. So here a pair has only been picked. A pair has only been picked. The first two people have only been picked. Now I'm in the pro now we are in the process of picking the third person. Watch what happens. So if it's A B, we have two choices. We can either do C or D. If it's A C, we have two choices. We can either do B or D. If it's A D, we have two choices. We can either do B or C. If it's B C, we can either do A or D. If it's D B, if we pick B or the as the first one and D as the last one, second one, we can either pick A or C. And if it's C D, we can pick either A or B. But what what happens? Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Well, if we pick C here, A B C would be the would be the thing. But A B C is same as B C A, which in turn is same as A C B, right here. What's going on? As soon as we pick the third person, we begin to triple count. These are not three different possibilities. It's the same possibility. Here is another one. Here is another one. Let's pick one more at random. How about how about C D A? Here is a C D A C D A. Uh, C D A C D A. There you go. C D A C D A. Should be one more. A C D. There you go. You see A C D. I'm going to circle them so you can see them. This thing and this thing and this thing. Oh, sorry. This thing. There are not three different possibilities. The same pe same three people. They are being counted as if there are three different possibilities. How do we take care of it? As soon as we pick a third person, we begin to triple count. Well, we cannot count the same three people as three different possibilities because the order doesn't matter. It's just, these are just three people on a jury. Three people on a jury, whether you have whether A sits in the first seat or says B sits in the second seat or D, you, you get the idea. They are the same three people. How do we undo it? Well, we we undo it by counting. Well, however many there are, we just take a third of that. We just take a third of that. And therefore we undo the triple counting situation. Now, we are not going to go into quadruple counting because if I try to make a list of it with five people, it's going to get quite complicated, but you get the idea. When we begin to take a second person, this is only a combination. This is only a combination, not permutation. Permutation, of course, order matters. On the combination, as we begin to pick a second person or second object, we always begin to double count. How do we undo it? Well, we undo it by taking half as many. When we pick the third object or third person, we begin to triple count. How do we undo it? Oh, but just divide the total to, divide the total number of possibility by the th third. By but take a third of as take take third as many. When we pick a fourth person, how do we different ways that can we pick a fourth person or fourth light bulb? There are seven lists. There are seven of them left in a box. So I have seven choices. But as soon as you pick the fourth one, you will begin to count everything four times. Everything will be counted as four times. For example, for example, you will begin to count everything. You will begin to count everything four times. For example, you will count A, B, C, D as one possibility. You will count D, A, B, C as another possibility. You will count uh, C, A, B, D as another possibility. You will count B, A, C, D as another possibility. But they're the same people. They're the same people. We cannot count them over. We have to undo it. We have to undo this this quadruple counting. And how do we do that? By dividing by four. And that is the essence. That is that is the gist. That is the nub of what it means to have combination. That is the nub. In case we do not know the word nub, we'll get to that in a second. I hope you know the word nub because we did learn it. We did learn. We did learn the word long time ago. I don't know if you how how, how closely you follow my channel, but there is a, there are videos that help you improve your vocabulary. You don't want to simply work on the math part. It is also essential that you work on your vocabulary uh, to do well on the English portion of the, of the GRE. NUB is something that we learn on day number 11. Just type, in, just type in GRE vocabulary words, day 11. Watch the video where we learn the word NUB, which simply means the main idea, the gist, the essence, the core of an argument. This is the NUB of of the combination theory. We just described it. This is it in, in five, ten minutes, whatever it took. Let's simplify it. Let's say we are done. Enough of the talk. I see a four and I see a two and I see an eight. I see a three and I see a nine. There you go. We are done. So it's 30 times seven, 210. There are 210 ways we can pick four light bulbs from a box containing 10 of them. 
from bark containing 10 of them. Let's do, let's do the next one. Part B. Part B. Same number, part B. I need the room, so I'm going to erase all of this thing. It says, it says from among, from among 10 people, four are to be chosen to, to do a job. I'm going to write it in a, I'm going to write it in a very generic way to do a job, any job. How many different ways can we pick four people? I'm not going to write all this down. The question is how many different ways can we pick four people to do, to do a job? Now in the exam they're not going to say to do a job. They're going to actually give you a job, whatever job you like. For example, for, they might say four people are to be chosen to, to, serve, to serve as a jury. To serve as a jury. There are ten people in the room. Four, uh, judge needs four people to serve as a jury. How many different ways can I pick the four people? Does the order matter? Here are the ten people here. Albert, Bertha, Carmen, Danielle, Esmeralda and so on and so forth. Does it matter who I pick first? Or rather I should say whom I pick first? The answer is no, it does not matter uh, whom I pick first. Do you understand? Why whom? Because the answer will be pick him, pick her, pick them. We don't say pick they. That's how I remember it. You also pick them. Pick her. Pick him. Therefore, it's whom. Does it matter whom I pick first? No, it doesn't matter who I pick first. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let's not digress right now. Let's just pay attention here. So, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. So, what do you conclude? This is a combination problem. This is a combination problem. And this is the exact same problem as picking the four light bulbs from a box containing 10 of them. Exact same problem, there is no difference. It, there is no difference because it doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter, it's a combination. And therefore, there are 10 ways to pick first person out of 10 to serve on the jury. There are nine different ways to pick a second person. As soon as we pick the second person, we're gonna repeat. We're gonna to begin to double count, we have to undo it, and so on and so forth. Here's the solution. The answer is the same as before. There is no difference. Let's do one more. Let's do one more, part C. Part C. It says from among ten people, four are to be chosen to four are to be chosen to to serve to serve as president, vice president, treasury, and secretary. Okay, one more time, we have 10 people, 10 potential candidates, among those 10 people, from those 10 people, we are going to pick 4 people as a president, vice president, treasury and secretary. Does the order matter here? Well, if you pick, if you pick A to be president and B to be vice president, is this different than having picked B to be president and A to be vice president? Of course. Of course, these are two different possibilities. Here A is president, B is vice president. Here is the other way around. So in this case, order matters. This is the permutation problem. This is the permutation problem. And since it's a permutation problem, it's very straightforward. How many different ways can we pick a president? Well, there are 10 people. There are 10 choices we can pick. There are 10 different ways we can pick somebody to be a president. Having chosen a president, how many different ways can we pick a vice president? There are 9 people left. I haven't picked vice president and vice president. How many different ways can I pick my treasurer? How many different ways can I pick my treasurer to serve on the committee? Well, there are 8 ways because there are 8 people left. And how many different ways can I have my secretary? Well, there are 7 possible candidates still. And that's your answer. Whatever that happens to be. That whatever it that happens to be. Do you understand? No, I do not know why I have in my notes 12 times 11 times 9 times 8. I guess I wasn't thinking too much. This is the answer. Whatever this happens to be, we're not going to worry about it. We're not going to try to figure out what it is. Well, whatever this happens to be.
Do you understand? Although I am curious. If this is 72, 9 eighths are 72. How do we know that 9 is a 72? Because 10 eighths are 80. So this is 72. 72 times 7. 72 times 7 is 14, 1, 49, and 150. So there you go. So it's 5040. 5040 different ways that we can fill up the position of a president, vice president, treasurer, and and uh, secretary. Or if you like, there are if you like. The question could be could have been phrased this way: Ten people are taking part in the contest. Four prizes are to be, four prizes are to be given. Four prizes are to be given. First prize, first prize, second prize, third prize, and the fourth prize. First position, second position, third position, fourth position. How many different ways can these prizes be given? And the answer is five thousand forty. Because these are the people that we talked about before. You see, do you like it? When we talk Albert, Bertha, Carmen, Daniel, Esmeralda, I know, I know. I bet you you never thought the GRE could get so kinky. I know, so hot. Bertha and Esmeralda, a dream come true for a boy. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.